Hello. One of the most important things anyone can do for their business, um, whether you've got a, a business where you are like a retail or commercial business where people come into your store or your business, or you work from home like I do, um, and you um, you want you want to appear on the Google search results. The thing is that. By having this, this is the first thing that comes up in Google search. So if somebody is looking for a service that Google search uh, recognizes as part of the, the, their business listings, which is nearly every business on the planet, um, this is the first thing that comes up. You'll notice on your phone, it'll come up with local businesses near you because um, the phone's got your location and all that sort of information. So it actually comes up with local businesses. So if somebody's searching for a, a wellness clinic or something in their town, these are the results that appear at the top. The better the the organisation, so if you can organise to get lots of reviews and good reviews for your business, the higher you'll appear in the search results. Now, how you, you may well already be on there, but don't control your listing, and you can take control of the listing if the address is correct on there. So let's just say your, your business was Jackalope Brewing Company. Um, well, what would happen is if somebody searched for a brewing company in Nashville, Tennessee, Jackalope, which I don't know if it's a, it's a legitimate business, um, Jackalope will come up in the search results. And you can see they've got 15 Google reviews for 4.7. That will probably come up number one or number two. Okay, so if somebody's searching on their phone, which a lot of people do when they're looking for services, this is what comes up. So you must be on here. So it, don't be afraid if your listing is on there and you um, and but you don't you can't control it. And how you how you look is you look you go to google.com forward slash business, sign in with your Google account, and then you'll see there the locations that you control. So when I log into mine, I can see these locations here. Okay. So the first thing you do Make sure you're signed into your Google account. If not, you'll just click sign in and then you'll come to the dashboard. Um, I'm managing some businesses from some other people as well here. Um, but you'll see this and you can manage your location. When you click manage your location, you, all your business information comes up here. And this is what's controlled in the Google search results. See, I'm logged in so I can actually make some changes here. I'm logged into the account that controls this so I can actually make some changes. But it actually has all your operating hours, People can suggest edits, people can ask questions, all that sort of stuff. It links to your website, get, people can get directions directly from their phone, all that sort of stuff. I mean, I'm a web developer, so I'm not going to get too much stuff. You know, I don't get people visiting me, but you can see it's got, uh, it shows here where I am on the map, but if you actually do a search yourself, you, it will just show the area. So it, it depends whether you're serving someone for your address or you're serving people at their address, which I do. Okay, um, for me it's not a big, as big a deal as what it is for most businesses because I operate on the internet and I've got customers all over the world. So um, with a business listing, it only really up to a few hundred miles from your location is, is your service area. That's all. So someone, if you're in Nashville, Tennessee, and someone's searching for a doctor in New York, you're not going to come up. Okay, so how do you take control of it? The first thing you do is, the first thing you do is, you, you, if, you, if, you, if you can find your business on Google Maps, it, it will say uh, uh, owner of this business with a question mark or something similar to that, and then you take control of it, and it will send a postcard to your address. Now, if the information is incorrect on there, what you and you should get three or four people to do is to, is to Google will ask you, would you like to change the information, uh, update information. Uh, you can actually update, suggest edits, okay, and you can change the address. If you get three or four people doing the same thing, will, that, that address will update and change. Google basically, and especially if it's a trusted source, um, Google has knows people's accounts and like for instance, if I make changes to anything, it usually updates it fairly quickly uh, because I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reviews on Google. Okay, so if you don't own it, don't despair, you should be able to get control of it. Now, if you do, you're just going to have to log into each different Google account you have or have had and try to take control of it there if, if, you, if you can remember doing it at some stage. 
Okay, so once you have control of it, you, you don't. And if you're not listed, what you'll do is you'll you'll do a search. And I'm, in, in the article that I've written with this, it shows you how to actually add your business to the map. And what happens is you add your business, your information, your address, your telephone number, all the basic information, what type of business you are. Google has a set of predefined types of businesses. You put in what type of business you are, and then Google will then send a postcard to your address. Now it doesn't mean you're going to, your address will be displayed. If you if you choose to serve people at their location, that's the option you get, or, or you serve them at your location, you serve them at their location, it won't give the actual address of your property, so don't worry about that. Okay, and you can edit and update any time you like. So what will happen after you've submitted, Google will send a postcard usually within four or five days, and in that time, with that postcard, what you can do is you can get, um, once you've got, once you get the postcard, it'll have a, a, a code on it. You log in again, you add that code, and all of a sudden, a few days later, your listing will start appearing. And then you can do some edits to it. So I'm gonna show you some of the edits you can do. All right, so with your info, you can update all the info about your business. Okay, so let's click on here. So you can update your operating hours, your address, your phone number, your, your website, URL. You can also, each one, you'll, it'll show you what your listing looks like on Google once, it, once it's live, maps, and then your Google Plus page for your business. You can also add photos. So you can add photos of your, uh, these are all my photos, your interior, exterior, me at work, I travel a lot and work while I travel, the team, which is pretty much just me, and then your identity, which is your logo and cover image and profile photo. Okay. So that's basically how you update the information. Then you can look at your reviews and manage your reviews. Um, and once you've got reviews, you can actually reply to the reviews and stuff like that. It shows you your average, average rating. And insights is basically all about your listing. How many people have searched for it? Listing on search, listing on maps, uh, visited. You know, I'm not gonna get a huge amount, but big businesses that are serious businesses like yourself, maybe if you've got a, doctor's service or something like that, you'll get lots of reviews, probably, and also you'll get lots of uh, results and it'll show you, show you all that information, okay? So here you'll see my listing on Google, you'll see my listing on Google Maps, this is where I actually live, which you, and then you can update the address, and here's where you show, uh, this is in your Google listing, this is where you show whether you can, I deliver goods and service to my customers at their location. Yes, and then I say within 400 miles, which is pretty strong, and then I click apply. And then I untick, I serve customers at my address, because I don't, click apply. I just did this edit just for you. Okay, and so now it will, it won't show my actual address on the, on the listing. It will show me in Miami Beach, but just not my actual address. So there you go, that's how you do that, guys. That's how you update and keep, and you can log back in any time and keep updated. So if you, if you remove staff, you add team members, all that sort of stuff, you can do all that. Okay? The better your listing, the higher up you will appear. And, and a lot of people don't do this, so they don't know that they can. All right? Okay, guys, good luck.